Hi, this is Elena, and today I wanted to share a video about how my faith helps me manage my thoughts and my emotions. So I'm a person of faith and have found so much peace and comfort, even joy, when I'm able to take my thoughts, feelings, and emotions and connect them with what the Bible says is true and all the hopeful promises that it shares. It has really helped me in my life, managing anxiety, warding off depression, focusing my distracted mind, and deepening my relationships. It's also helped me care for my body and live a life that feels full of purpose and of meaning. There's so many good verses in the Bible that talk about this, but the one that's inspired me for today is Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off the things that hinder us and the sin that so easily entangles us, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. I personally love the word fix and fix your eyes. It could be very, it's been helpful to me because it helps me frame what I do with my thoughts and my emotions. Because where we look is where we're headed. It doesn't mean that there's not gonna be bumps along the road and things that happen, but if we can recalibrate with what the promises of God says, it will help us know where to place our thoughts and our feelings. So this is incredibly helpful to know where you're headed. With my emotions, it helps me understand that while my feelings are crucial to understand, receive comfort for and care for, they just can't dictate how I live. It's valuable to notice them, to feel them, to label them, and share them with a loving friend or a person who cares. Because as we receive comfort and understanding, we can move through our emotions and heal as we release energy and gain insight for ourselves and be heard by someone else. For example, there's so many times I experience anxiety and the Bible says, do not worry because he cares about me. He cares about the birds and the lilies. So when I have worry and anxiety, I know that God is there to comfort me and cares for me, even if I don't always feel it. He says that I'm under the shadow of his wing. I'm perfectly protected and comforted in my worry and in my anxiety. I must focus on that truth in order to regain peace because focusing on my feelings and trying to control the situation through worry I'll never feel good, but peace and joy are restored in the moments that I do the hard work of focusing on his promises because that gives me somewhere to fix my eyes and then it begins to shine my path. With my thoughts, this helps me immensely as well because the Bible says, capture your thoughts that were transformed um, by the renewing of our mind. It never said don't have thoughts. So when the thoughts come, I have this choice and can influence what happens to them and dictate where they go. Have you ever been in a fight with a thought? Because it is super hard and takes a lot of time and constant attention. For example, the thought that says, I don't have what it takes can be a very strong negative thought, but a promise in the Bible says that in our weakness, God is the one who's strong. I love this because it gives me a place to focus or a goal that I can move towards. Because as it stands, uh, seven I, on a scale of one to 10, I may believe that at level seven, but as I work towards believing it and declare it as true, my mind and body will eventually catch up and accept that truth and practice speaking it over my life because I have fixed my eyes. I love this because it gives us permission to experience and learn from our emotions because they're signals into our souls, but not to let them decide our course of action. And I also love this because I can take my thoughts and look at what is true, examine it, and know where I need to shift my thinking. My faith in the promises of God is very important for my view of life and how I learn to love others as well as receive love and compassion for myself. I actually had my brain scanned by the Amen Clinics and it was interesting to see what they found. But what I'll never forget is the functional medicine psychiatrist. She said, I see your brain gets lit up with anxiety, but it looks like you're working really hard to manage it. It looks like you're fighting. Uh, this is really cool because it made me, this is where this message is coming from because I believe that what I'm sharing with you has really helped me manage anxiety. But I know these talks, these topics can be difficult to manage, especially based on the vast experiences that you may have in life. So just know this is not a sprint. It takes time and patience to metabolize emotions, capture and change thought patterns, and, and call to mind the promises of God, and then connect them to our real life situations. Jesus did this so perfectly, and he is the best example that we can have. 
I hope and pray that this message can encourage and equip you in understanding and managing your thoughts, feelings, and emotions and integrating them into the promises of God so that you can fix your eyes on what is true and walk in a direction that brings hope, health, and healing for each and every day. Thank you for joining me.